people look in the rearview mirror and they see an airplane and they start panicking. The plane car is the brainchild of 56-year-old Atlanta resident Mark Ray, who has previously built a roadworthy boat car. My 17-year-old daughter Brianna encouraged me to build something else because she said that I was kind of um, getting bored with the boat car, which is still a very unusual vehicle. But um, I came up with the idea of building a plane car. The vehicle was constructed from a Chevrolet Tracker and a 2003 Cirrus SR22. The Cirrus was perfect for me. It was just perfect. And the aircraft, luckily enough, um, has a fiberglass body, which makes it a little bit lighter weight, but much more durable than your average aluminum aircraft. Despite having the vision for his project, Mark was happy to let others do the hard work. I'm not the type of individual that gets their hands real dirty and involved in ripping metal and cutting things and whatever. I'd rather come up with the idea, write the check, and then have the vehicle when it's done. I went to a body shop and he took the entire body off. It was a coming collision where I live. Then I went to uh, another shop, FlexFab, also in my area. They fabricated the two together to make it one. The next challenge was to make his creation road legal. I put on side view mirrors, uh, tail lights, it has headlights, um, has a rear view mirror, it's got a tag light, it's got seat belts, and yes, it's past emissions. The tail used to come out another, I'd say, 15 or 20 inches. I had to cut that back so that the vehicle would be able to be driven down the street without ripping into other cars along the road. And Mark carried out the finishing touches to the plane car himself. When I did get the vehicle finished, I painted it myself and I striped it and decaled it myself. This vehicle took me about five months to put together. It cost me a little under $10,000. Despite the vehicle's unique look, it still acts as a family runaround. I take my son to school in it and the school goes crazy. All the people just go nuts when I show up with that airplane. And uh, I have a good time. We go out for dinner in it. We come outside and there's a full crowd of people and I have to answer a ton of questions about the plane, but that's, you know, that's part of the game. You have an unusual vehicle, you gotta answer a lot of questions, but I really do like it a lot, and I'm gonna enjoy it and pass this one down to probably my son. But Mark could be persuaded to part with his unusual mode of transport. I've had a few people ask if it was for sale. I told them not right now, but if the right price uh, was offered to me, I'd sell it, maybe, maybe, and money talks.